how you raise them at home is how they generally turn up at church. Mm -hmm. Amen. So they, they got that old uh, uh, privileged spirit at home. That's when they come to the church feeling like they should be privileged. When this ain't even about them. This ain't even about us. If anything, it's a privilege for us to do what we do for God. Amen. Amen. That's why I don't believe in half doing it. That's why I believe in doing it excellent. That's why I don't believe in borrowing nobody. God, I'll save and get the money. I want everything brand new because I want God to be well represented whenever anybody walk in here. Amen. 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 I don't, don't play with it. I'm going to treat this house better than I treat my own Amen. because this is his. Yes. Amen. 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 If I got to give, if I if my house, if my house bills ain't paid and I know I gotta give my tithe, I'm giving my tithe because I yes. trust in that much. I don't know yes. about you. Yes. That's your business. But me personally, I know I know well, well, well too well that he'll never leave me or forsake me. I know his word, so I can bring his word back to him. God, you say it. You'll never leave me nor forsake me. So I'm gonna put this in there. I'm going to take care of what I need to take care of because I know you got you must have something real good for me. So I'm praying over and I've been saying this for a couple of years. Y'all need to start having a family prayer every day. Not at the dinner table. That don't qualify. God is great. God is great. That ain't, no. Y'all need to start having family for touching and agreeing with your kids on a daily basis. Amen. Daily. That should not be that hard. Teach them how to pray. So when you can't do nothing for them, they know somebody they can. Amen. Teach them about relationship. The Holy Spirit is not an it. The Holy Spirit is a person. It's real talk. The Holy Spirit is a person. And that, that, that lives within each and every one of us. Amen. So whenever we act in ignorance, guess who right there? Mm -hmm. Holy Spirit right there. Yes. Whatever you're doing, but he's there as a comforter. He's there. To, the Holy Spirit knows all things. Yes. You hear me? He knows what God's thinking. He knows what plans God has for you. He knows what you have in you more than, than in anything. So guess what? If Holy Spirit know all of that, and Holy Spirit is in me, why don't I ask Holy Spirit before I do something? Mm -hmm. Amen. If my peace ain't with me, then obviously Holy Spirit ain't too comfortable with that, so I ain't gonna do that. Amen. Why? Because Holy Spirit see everything. Mm -hmm. uh oh, mm -hmm. He see everything that's about to happen. So why would I do it? See, and what happens is emotions try to compete with Holy Spirit. Yeah, because we feel emotions. But when we hear Holy Spirit, there's a difference. A lot of times we go off of what we feel and we cross out what we hear. Because feelings pull you. They pull you. They pull you. They give you certain urges and all of this kind of stuff. The Holy Spirit just stand back with the same voice each time. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. I want you. Sometimes you just want Holy Spirit to yell at you. Just to jump out there and stop. He's like, no, I'm not going to get in the way of your life. It's your life. You do what you want to do with your life, but I'm just going to tell you what the right thing is. And I may not tell you everything that's going to happen, but I just say, stop. Trust me. That's all he's saying. God ain't going to tell you to stop for no reason. Amen. He ain't going to tell you to go for no reason. And how do you get to that point? Distinguish between his voice and the voice of the enemy because the enemy tries to sound just like it. Ooh, oh my God, God. Uh -huh. Watch this one. Watch this. Oh God. The Holy Spirit has no emotions attached to his instructions. You get that one? The Holy Spirit ain't emotional. The Holy Spirit is factual. Mm -hmm. I don't care how you feel about it. This is what it is. Amen. So we make too many decisions based off of how we feel. Mm -hmm. In the moment, we like our Kelly. Mm -hmm. I ain't telling you no. <laughs> you know the rest of it. Well, you should listen to your mind, bro. Mm -hmm. 
You should listen to your spirit. And how do you get that with your spirit? Is you got to start sacrificing some stuff. You got to start consecrating yourself. You got to start consecrating and fasting. Even if it's just for half a day, you got to start doing something. Say, Lord, I'm dedicating this time for you. I'm dedicating this day for you. I'm getting away from everything because this is your time. I'm going to read my word. I'm going to sing my worship song. I ain't answering my phone for the next 12 hours. I ain't responding to no text. I ain't going on Facebook. I ain't doing nothing. It's all your time. If I got to get out and just go walking just to be in your presence, that's what I'm going to do. And God will honor the sacrifice that you give him if it comes from your heart. And don't go fat sacrificing trying to get the results that Pastor got. Because Pastor's results are Pastor's results. Jerry's results are his. Darrell's results are his because the, the relationship is individual. It's individual. Amen. I want us to, to take a step up. Take a step up. Now, we're getting ready to go. I already said no. But I want us to, my wife has noticed something within the last two months about me is I'm going to turn the page here just a little bit. We've got to start caring about our temples more. Amen. Amen. I'm talking about our bodies. Mm -hmm. Not this church. Our physical bodies. Because we're no good to the masses. Amen. Amen. 